And then, um, a card, a card, and a little package. So, we will get started. And then lots of questions. A few updates. Um, that one, I think I did. Did I get it? Oops. Vera, I swear she's very uncoordinated. Okay, get a drink. See, get a drinking day. We tried to pretend we were drinking wine today, but we didn't. So, this one is from from Amazon. Amazon is very good to us, as you know. Let me fix one thing here. I always chop everybody's heads off. So we'll just go a little higher. Era. Um, so this one's from Amazon, and uh, we will see what's in here. We're still holding that one box that we had yesterday, and if this one is from that person too, we were going to open them up together, but I don't see who this one is actually from. Oh, 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 oh. Um, gosh, I feel really bad. I don't. This goes with this because I recognize the um, hobby tool thing on here. It's all gone. I'm really sorry. I have to look up in my email and figure out who it was that said they were going to send this. Um, but there's some medical things in here, which is awesome because, you know, my stuff wears out after a while. This is a, it's called a precision instrument, and it's... Stainless steel, professional quality, autoclavable. Autoclavable. I've never heard it said that way. You can put it in the autoclave. Very, very nice, sharp scissors. Whoa. Whoa. One last thing. Oh. I had gotten an email. I meant to write it down as to who, who was going. They told me that some of this stuff was coming. And I was gonna, I, I was gonna do that, and I, I haven't written it down yet. So, I'm sorry. Maybe somebody on their nose. I got a block up here, so let me move this. See if anybody there knows. Does anybody know who? Be Beatley? Is that what you're saying, Canton and Bantry? Yes. Okay, uh, let me write that down on here. Bead, bead, beetle, oh, I'm telling you, I need new glasses. All right, that's cool. Oh, bead lady. Okay, let's see what else is in here. So those are really sharp little scissors. These are what we call band-aid scissors. And these are really nice. You know... The pair of band-aid scissors that I'm using right now are the ones when I was in nursing school, like in way long ago. <laughs> I'm not even going to say when. Almost before nursing. <laughs> <laughs> it has uh, my maiden name on it. That's how old they are. And these are really, really nice. So I love this. And another stethoscope, which I love having stethoscopes. Oh, nice. This is nice. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, this is really awesome. Thank you. Oh, this is a great stethoscope. Thank you. I appreciate oh, Nice. This is really nice. Thank you. I like to keep one in June's room. And I keep one up here and then Thumper's room. And so, I, you know, we had gotten one from someone not too long ago. And then I have my one here, so now I'll be able to keep one in June's room, too. This, this is nice. Very, very nice. Oh, and it's got the different parts um, for the for down for here and more ear pieces, too. Wow. And I also, I know this goes with it because I recognize the, the hobby tool. So, maybe this has a name on it. But it, but it is bead lady then. Nope. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, but, oh, it's from, her last name is B-E-A-D-O-R-E. -E. There we go. Oh. Oh, these are really, really nice. These are clamps. Oh, they're two different kinds of clamps. That's awesome. My stuff does get old after a while. These are both clamps where you can um, push it together here and it stays put. I use these for various things. One is a straight and one is a curved. Gosh, thank you. These are treasures. Oh this is really, really nice. That means I can go through my instrument drawer and um, I always keep things in their plastic base so they stay nice like this. I can go through my instrument drawer and kind of do away with some of my old, old, old ones that aren't very good anymore. This is awesome. I'm just going to put these things back in there and put this with this. Is, is, uh, is she on right now? Yes? Yeah, thank you. Oh, thank you, thank you. This is really awesome. This is a real, a real, really nice thing for us here at the Rescue Center. I appreciate it so much. These are things that I don't normally get from, you know, as an everyday thing. So I super appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. Those will be well used and well, well appreciated. Oh, no crying. You're fine. Um, gosh, I'm all... It's like, oh my gosh, I've, I've lost track of what I'm doing. Okay, we have... Wow, that's really nice, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We got a card today. It's from Nova Scotia. And it says, Happy Thanksgiving Postcard Surprise. And it's got uh, some cute kitties on it, too. It says, Nova Scotia loves the FFRC uh, team. Thank you for your hard work and devotion to the kitties, cats and for sharing uh, by the webcam. I live in Halifax, capital of Nova Scotia. Our views are, other views are popular. Nova Scotia towns and sites. And it says many blessings. And unfortunately, the name that's on here got smeared by the postal, cor postal um, code thing. But whoever this is from is in Nova Scotia. Oh, and we can mark this on my map now. Oh, I got, did you see my mm -hmm. map in there? Yeah. I've been putting pins in there. So, um, we'll, I'll do that. I'll, and actually, on the map, uh, it, we put it on, or Kurt put it on a cork board for me. Oh, this is from Ella. Okay, cool. From Ella, it's E-L-L-E-99. -E Thank you, Ella. Um, along the, the map that we got from Ohio Peepers, uh, we did it with a cork board, and one whole side of it has, it's, it's open for the cork board, so I'll put postcards on. So if anybody else sends postcards from around the world, we'll put those up there too. That's cool. Thank you. And then we got, oh, I wanted just to share this with you. Um... I just, I, I think there's a special little girl watching tonight. Her name is Hannah from Indiana. And Hannah, if you're watching, I'm, I got your letter today and I'm, I'm so happy to have gotten that. And uh, I'm glad that you've been getting the pictures that we've been sending. And I hope you're doing well. And if you ever get to be where you're feeling good and can come visit us, we would love to have you visit us. Okay, so hugs and kisses to you, Hannah. Um, I've got just a couple quickie updates because I've been so busy today, but I wanted to say something about Bella. Did you guys see her all night long? She slept in that big bed. I took it back. Um, it's I took it no, I back know. there. We'll bring it out again tonight. But she, she was in there at 11.30, I think it was, when I got up to check on the cats again. She was in it. And then when I came out here at 4.30, she was still in it, and she looked at me like, you know, you're not moving me at all. <laughs> but she did get up to eat breakfast. And then to do everything here while I was sweeping and mopping, I just moved it up, swept and mopped this, it dried, and then moved her back. 
And then when we got real busy in the morning, we moved it back in Cap Kitty Campus room with her in it, and she was still in it. And she's been in there the entire day. So I and I saw her, one of the adult kitties try to get in with her, and she just whacked the heck out of that cat. I felt sorry for him. And uh, but she has left uh, Weasley in there with her, so she's very being very selfish. We told her, but that's okay. Um, we had two visitors today that were um, special. Well, actually, we had lots of visitors here. Um, Silly Sticks and her friend uh, came. They live four hours away, and they came and was here quite a bit in the afternoon and early. Well, most of it was the afternoon, I guess. It's already 7. And they're staying all night in Defiance and will be back, I believe, tomorrow morning. So that was really nice to have them here. There you go, Farrah. And also, of course, we had Love My Pets and, and his family, who belongs to Ohio, Mrs. Ohio Peepers, who I understand is sick. So I'm very sorry, Carrie, that you're sick. You enjoyed your family being here. And I'm sorry you've had a rough week with the loss of your brother. Um, so you feel better so you can come next time. And the furniture, that's what we all did today. And just kind of, uh, oh my gosh, remember I was telling you that when they were grinding the old floor off, that we had clouds of, it looked like almost a light fog in here. Um, it got everywhere. So we spent probably, and I spent about an hour last night wiping down the, the old office. And then Judy S. came in today and we spent a lot of time um, in the new welcome room and thumper's room and the bathroom cleaning it top to bottom. It was amazing how dirty that was. So everything is back. We started, I think, at 1 o'clock or 1.15 maybe and got done maybe just, what, an hour and a half ago maybe? Oh, yeah. Somewhere in there. It took quite a while. Um, everything's back in except the computers are not hooked up yet. Uh, Kurt has his computer in, in the welcome room and that's the office that he uses also. His isn't work, or hooked up yet and the main one that we've used all this time isn't hooked up. You know what we're doing is down, down, down there we've got um, my big laptop which allows us on the TV screen right below. It's about this big. We have um, the chat up and the um, the webcam, the cam picture. So that's how we've been able to chat with you because we're right here with the cam and everything. So and it has been fun, and I know Paul's enjoyed it, and Greg's been having fun. Um, the volunteers, I think, have been enjoying it and watching your chat, which has really been fun, isn't yeah, it, Becky? Yeah. But that's, I'm that's how I. Bella out here. I, I you saw them looking or asking yeah, about her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it kind of makes us feel like you're you're really right there with us instead of out farther in the world. So we we have enjoyed it. I don't know Kurt's all in charge of the camera because you guys know I'm not very computer smart. I'm not. I think what's going to happen is we'll go back to the old system, but remember we had talked to you guys a while ago about maybe setting up something with the TV mo the TV screen and this is what it is but we would have to do it on a different scale so maybe we'll still get to do that I hope so it's been kind of fun to talk directly to you guys it's, it's a lot even more personal than what it, it uh, normally is I have lots of questions you guys wrote down uh, don't have them in the order um, Queen asked why I did, yeah, Queen asked why I called Cabas Gonzo, and I do that every single morning, don't I? Cabas is the one who um, chews the place, but in the morning, I don't know why, maybe because I'm, it's early and my brain isn't functioning yet, I'm always calling him Gonzo, and I didn't really realize it until you said that, and then it's like, you know, I think I've been doing that every morning, so anyhow, it is Cabas that does that. Um, DLC asked if CJ and Noogie are warming up. Um, CJ is. You know, we've been now for two days now making her go away from this area. We pick her up, love her up, and put her somewhere. And she is, is doing better with that. She's not the most 
friendly cat people, but she's doing pretty good with people. And I think she definitely is improving. Noogie is kind of the opposite. He's wonderful with the cats and the kitties, but he's extremely people shy. But remember when he came, he was not a young kitty. Um, so he, you got to get him young to be able to get him really socialized with people. So not sure all how we're going to do that yet, but we're still working on them both. O-R-O, O-R-O maybe, asked if we ever step on cats. Yes, we do. We all hate it. I stepped on a tail today. They forgive us all the time. Usually, I think every person here, any volunteer here, when we have stepped on a toe or something, we always go get the cat and love them up. And always, we, I think we probably feel worse about it than what they do. We've never seriously heard anybody go, thank goodness. <laughs> Um, Nuki asked if we ever use Cosequin. I I have a little bit, to be, but to be honest with you, I haven't used it very often. Um, it seems to be uh, the the ones that I've gotten are like in capsules that you can put on, and they haven't been too crazy about it. I just haven't honestly used it long term enough to say what the good or bad effect or no effect is on it supposed to be good. I know friends of mine who use it for dogs that they can just put in their food and it works. It's harder with cats because they don't eat as much. Their mouths are littler and sometimes the pills are so big it's a little bit harder. But um, I've used it a few times, Nuki, but not enough to really say yay or nay on it. Um, meow asked how long cats, oh, how long has a cat been missing here in the rescue center? I think today was probably the most. Did you know we couldn't find uh, Nuki? Mm -hmm. And I gotta get Nuki out. Or I mean, um, not you, Nuki. You. Hi. And you know, I just meant I wanted to get a birthday here. Hi. Who is that? It still looks so weird to open, see that door open like that, and see the color. I know. Oh, shit. That Nuki came to us on 1017, and um, this is Nuki, named after our webcam friend. This is the one that was missing today, and she literally, we could not find her. And it's been a while since we've had a kitty disappear, and we I think we'd all forgotten to check the food closet until Paul remembered about it. The base of the food closet has an opening. Can't be much more than that. And believe it or not, she squished under there. She was sleeping as snug as a bug in a rug. She's purring now. She needs a little little loving. Becky, I'll pass her over to you, and then we'll put her back in there. She's a little bit shy, a little bit shy. So we've been working on her little loving attitude too but that's where she was in the food closet usually if they're missing you know <clears throat> if we all go on a search like what we did today we can find them pretty quick but boy she she had us uh looking all over the place and oh 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 here we go and then yuki asked if my parents will get to see the floor i talked to my mom about it today my dad is a big uh he, he likes doing things, and he's very interested in what we've done with the floor. Uh, and I said something to my mom. I'd love to have him come and see it, but um, I don't know. I even said maybe we could get him in the car and drive him to the door, and I could open the door uh, for him to see. Um, if he has a really good day, I'm, that's what I want to do is just toss my dad in the car and bring him over here. So... Thank you for asking about him. And then o -O -O, o -R -O asked about a, the cat that was walking funny. I think somebody answered that. Of course, it's Cutie. Cutie has that neurological problem. Not supposed to be out. That, no? How'd you get out? How'd you get out? That, uh, caught, uh oh, I should no. <laughs> no, he's going to meow. That causes him to lift to the left a little bit. And then Tori, is it, asked where we got the wheel. You know, I don't remember anymore. I, all I know is it's the cat-go-round wheel. And we just looked it up on the web. And 
I think actually we might have even gone through uh, like Amazon or eBay maybe and co price compared because they were they were pretty much the same. So we we uh, investigated a few places and found the cheaper price versus whether we did or didn't have to pay shipping on it. Uh, okay, that one I'm done with. Butterfly asked the difference between a tortie and a calico. Calico is like this. Can you see Emmy here, Emmeline? Where you have the distinct three different colors, gold, black, and white. They're distinct uh, markings on them versus this. This is a tortie. This is um, where they're gold, where the colors kind of twirl together or swirl together, I call it. There's two colors of torties. This is tweeny, by the way. There's two colors of torties. It's usually the black and gold like this, or the gray and the cream. And then there's two colors of uh, calicos also, the black, white, and gold, or the black, white, and the cream. And you know, um, uh, our little twinkle is the, oh, I don't see her right over there, is the, the creamy, or is the one with the creamy. So, and they're always girls, you know. Sometimes people call me up and say, I have a boy calico, you know, how much will you give me to, to, to buy it and all this. And I've never yet seen a boy calico. I'm sure there might be one or two out there, but they're, they're always sterile, which is good. Um, T.A. <laughs> Patricia Ann asks where Weasley is, and he's right here. Michelin asks, are we all moved back in? Thank God, yes, we are. Well, almost. My desk isn't done yet. I Right there in Tony or in Dodger's pen, there's a ton of stuff that has to go back in the desk, but at least everything is in place. We had things that had to be taken out of here that we were going to forward on to Kitty City. And then we had things that had to come back, some furniture that had to come in here that we'd been storing in the clinic. And then uh, we had to turn everything over and take off all the little uh, gliders that we have on the bottom of them and put all brand new ones on. Our, the, our floor guy advised us to do that. And so it was just a mess. We, it just took so much time today, plus it was the cleaning. But it's done. There he goes. It's done, and it's, uh, we, we love it. The floor is awesome. I'm, I'm, just, I'm very thankful that we did this. I usually don't. I'm very money conscientious because, because we have to be. But I'm glad that we did that because that floor, I don't have to worry about the kitties, you know, picking it off. And Ohio Mrs. Peeper asked where, oh, where we found Nuki, and that was, of course, in the food closet. Ooh, ooh. Uh, I wrote something down, and I don't know what it says. Gussie, oh, Goosey asked if Kate is back in Arizona. Yes, she left on Monday. Yeah, she's back. I miss her. I try to talk to her every day. Usually I call her or she calls me. Sweet Pea asked the secret to cat bathing. You know, I I got your email too on that, and it gave me a few minutes to think about it. And you know, we're very, we really are very successful in giving baths here. Every single incoming cat and kitty has to have a bath. We give a flea bath that also does lice, and just it's a good cleansing bath because most of them are pretty cruddy when they come in. And I think to our to our advantage is that when they first come in, it's still like, oh my gosh, where am I and why am I here? And you know, they're a little reserved with us, so so they don't have a lot of fight. I would imagine if I put some of these cats in the tub now to give a bath that they would argue with me a little. We don't fill up the tub with water and set them in. I just use the sprayer. And one trick that, that I use a lot here, would you let me use you? She said no. I I really don't hardly ever really cuff strong here. I will maybe when I start, but a lot of times I'll take this leg up like this and pull it back like that. It doesn't hurt them. It's just pulling back on the shoulder a little bit like that. And so they have to put this front paw down and to maintain their balance. 
and I just seem to get a lot of lot more calming effect with them like that. And you know, I I really think the biggest thing is for me just to stay cool and calm. And because a lot of times when I'm here doing baths, some people want to rush over and and they they hold them really tight. And sometimes it's just too much. Sometimes less holding is best for cats. They don't maybe freak out quite so badly when they're retained and just kind of held too tight. I think sometimes that that makes them too nervous. So I myself try to stay very cool and calm, relaxed. And and I always talk in a soft, soothing voice to them. I'm always jabbering away like I usually do, but in a soft voice with them, and then pull that, just pull the shoulder back a little bit, and we just don't seem to have very much trouble. You've seen us do that, haven't you? They, it seems to go pretty good. Now, if I was to do all that in my house cats, they may not think so. Um, that's about the best that I can tell you. Bubba and Patricia Ann wanted to see Nuki. Is Nuki still back there though in, in the pen? Yeah. Um, um, yeah, well, there. Josh, do you have Nuki there? What the, what what you guys had wanted? That, was that little gray one, right? Yeah, we got to keep track of them. Just oh, yeah. yeah, you put in that room. Yeah. It's in the room. Yeah. Do you know where one of the other grays are? We were gonna compare. Like, she uh, yeah. Yeah. Becky will look for for one of the other grays, and we'll show you the difference in the size. Well, oh, they're usually right here underfoot. Do you know if there's another gray in there? in the back room. But usually they're here. Well, well, we'll wait till they find one. Um, DLC asked if Weasley is gaining weight, and he I weighed him again. He's gained now three ounces this week, which is awesome. And... ORO74 ORO asked where Hetty is, and I'm not really sure. I know I was holding her earlier today, but I'm not sure where she is at. If I see her here while we're talking, I'll hold her up to you. And let me see if I missed any questions on that. I think I got those. And Nika Ruth asked if we could show Noogie, and I will get Noogie, and we'll also find Ash, Asha, um... And Little Chap wanted to know what to do with a 14-year-old with a decreased appetite. And there was another question as well uh, from Sweet Pea who asked about an open abscess. You know, the first thing I always tell people when people ask me about certain um, problems with cats is take them in for a vet physical. There's nothing that replaces that that physical um, that's where you head off your problems and uh, get down to the root of the problems but a 14 year old that doesn't have a big appetite or a sufficient appetite um, we would always worry also thank you you know about like kidney problems and liver problems so I any time that you're talking a geriatric cat and the appetite is off boy that's a big red flag to get into the best office and for the open abscess sweet pea those a lot of times will require um antibiotics you know maybe it was a bite wound maybe it was a snake on a hook you know whatever but especially the bite wounds are when they bite and those fangs go in and then they withdraw and that wound closes up the bacteria from the mouth stays inside the skin and that's what causes the abscesses they a lot of times will require antibiotics Here's the difference of, I don't know if you can tell, but see how much darker that Nuki is compared to the three Cs? See, I've been calling them the three Cs. The, and plus um, Chia and Kathy and Claudia are quite a bit bigger than what Nuki is. But you guys could be cousins. Yeah, you guys could be cousins. Huh, see, we like each other. So that's how they're... they're the three C's are quite a bit bigger. Oh, yeah. that door does that. And somebody, somebody wants to see you. Oh, let me see who that was. Yeah. Oh, Bean Tree. Our Bean Tree friend wanted to see Asha. 
I said, they love you. They love you, yes. Oh, isn't she a snuggle bug? I just love her. Yes. Hey, you're messing up my papers there, Tilo. So for you that don't know Asha, she came in as a skinny, skinny, skinny girl with a severely broken leg that had to be amputated. And uh, she has gained quite a bit of weight. They deemed her uh, feral as a, as a, like a wild, unsocialized cat. But obviously she's not. She <laughs> she's looking at herself. <laughs> you always have to remember, if you're holding Asha, uh, don't put chapstick on first because you will get nothing but a mouthful of hair. <laughs> right, Asha? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, are you done? You want to go back to Auntie Becky? No, I like Mama. Yeah. I always like to pick her up because I always say, well, come on, let's pick you up so you can squeak. She always squeaks for me. <laughs> I didn't, I was trying to write down so fast I didn't ask, or I didn't see who asked me if I was still upset with Paul. And I'm never upset with Paul. Um, he and I banner and bicker and toss back and forth all the time. It's all in fun and I respect Paul highly. He does an awful lot of stuff for me here and so oh, we just like to tease back and forth. He's a good guy. He's um, so kind to the kiddies. Does good work and uh, I appreciate everything that he does for us. Uh, Whiskers asked if Gracie was my granddaughter. I think somebody answered yes she is and I love her very much. And and Ella asked if um, Kabbas might have, you know, those, any of those little eating disorders about the chewing of the plates. I don't know why he does that. He just he does that just on the styrofoam plates, and it's not like he's obsessed with it. He just um, gets to eating, and then when he and I've watched him do this when he gets when he licks and licks and he gets down to the to the plate, not the food. He just takes a bite, and then he stops, and then he goes to a new place. He, it's funny, I just get a kick out of it. it he doesn't eat it, and uh, nobody else eats those pieces that he might chomp off. So I always know where, where he is when, when um, it's food time, because I can hear the styrofoam plate when he does that. Goss asked if the chickens left, and yes, those three chickies left. Um, I told I told Joe, you know, Judy S. and her husband Joe, are the ones who found the home for me and I'm so thankful because I really needed them to find a good home. I love all my chickens. I love get, having those girls out there. I only have one rooster, which is that's all we want. Um, but those three are the ones that would not stay on the farmyard. So they're in a good place and I told Joe before he goes, he had to give each, because I wasn't here, I was at my mom's, mom and dad's this morning. Um, he had to give him each kiss, which I think Judy gave him for me. And to let the new guy know that one thing was cluck, the other one was cluck, cluck, and then the third was cluck, cluck, cluck. <laughs> I guess he did tell the guy that, so I got a kick out of that. Um, Bubba and Frank both asked how my mom and dad were. Um, dad was actually up when I got there today to check on him, and um, my dad has always had a good sense of humor. I just love that about him, and, and he and I cracked a few funnies back and forth, which was good for both of us. And my mom's leg are healing. Um, you know, she fell a few nights ago, really tore her legs up, but I'm I'm grateful that she didn't break any break any of her bones. So they're healing slowly and uh, she's just gonna try to be more careful around steps. And Sherry asked if we use hair ball hair ball ointment. I, we do. I don't use it routinely but um, we do use it uh, I probably don't use it as much as what you might think, but that's because we try to keep the hair um, that they swallow to a minimum by all the brushing. You know, you probably probably have all noticed like how Dee comes in once a week and she grooms and grooms the cat. And then at least twice a day of the volunteers, we'll give a list of, what, seven, eight, nine cats mm -hmm. that need grooming. And so and I try to rotate those names so we do a lot of grooming here, uh, and I think I always think everything that we groom out of them is that much hair either they swallow or that we have to sweep up. So, um, but we do use that. We we of course do use the um, ointment. 
I think I got all the questions asked. Maybe, unless I miss one that you guys want to pop on there real quick for me. Um, clocks go back November 6th. That's a, a week from tonight, isn't it? So we, Asha here, so we gain, a, gain an hour of sleep, right? They yeah. go back, go back, yes. Can we see Weasley? Weasley. Oh my gosh, if you could see this, I don't think I can pick Weasley up. Emmeline is grooming herself and she's got her legs all spread apart. And Weasley is staring at me actually, or now he's, she's, he's staring at Emmy. She's right tucked between her legs and she's got one leg over on top of him. But you know what? We got to put him in the room for the night. So Weezy, oh, don't just let me out. Will you put him, put him in I'll there? Keep my eye okay. On Becky's going to keep her eye on Weasley. We're not going to separate him. It's all I can see is his little head sticking out. You know, this morning when I was doing um, catching up on my emails, I sit back here. <laughs> I snug myself in between the cages there to do my emails since I don't have my computer, and there were. What three or four kitties on the purple, on the purple marshmallow bed, and Emmeline jumps in and just lays right on top of them. And I know you guys were worried about that she covered them up, but when I got up and looked, all all that I could see was three heads sticking up out, out from around her body. She knew what she was doing. So we'll leave Weezy in there, and maybe when you do, Sorry. Becky will show you her. This is Zach. This is a college friend here. Um, how long have you been coming? Four years. Four years. And what's your major? Um, molecular biology. Smart. He's smart. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, my dogs love him. So thank you all for being with us. Please remember to vote. We're still number one. Did you vote too? Do you vote for us? Good. And um, Becky does. Right? I do. Cool. So thank you for voting. Thank you for supporting us. And thank you, Bee Lady, for our instruments. I treasure that and appreciate that. And everybody that's getting snow, I'm glad it's you and not us. <laughs> we'll get it soon enough. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a nice Halloween night. Well, tonight's our parade. First time we haven't been in the parade for a long time. So um, that's okay. And we will talk to you all tomorrow. Cute, cute, cute. Oh, oh, now she's going after her. Yeah, she she kind of goes back and forth sometimes. But her, her main goal is to be sweet. Look yeah, at that. Yeah, music's not taking any uh, good. Isn't that just about the cutest thing, though? I'm telling you, he's a tough old, old kitty cat. Um, do you think... Oh, you <laughs> now that was six. I didn't think that. That was six. Seven. Or I could just. I mean, I just throw it. Or give that to these guys out here. Oh. And fresh. You know what? We got some fancy feast appetizers that those guys love. And I'll give Thank you.